Hey, what's going on? My name is Mark. I'm a developer advocate over at Prisma. And today I want to talk to you guys about Pulse. What is Pulse? Well, Pulse is a managed change data capture service created by Prisma to help you guys make your applications real time. Have you ever wanted your apps to just update as soon as your database does, no matter where your database was updated from? Pulse allows you to do this simply and easily. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you guys through how to set up Pulse inside of your application. We're gonna set up the new subscribe method and receive events in real time from your database. If you're interested in using Pulse after this video, we're currently in early access. So you can sign up the link down below or you can join our Discord and DM me or any of the other developer advocates directly, and we'll help you get into the Pulse Early Access. Along with that, we can help you set up your database to get it Pulse ready and work with you one-on-one -on -one to how to use Pulse best inside of your apps. Please don't hesitate to reach out to any of the developer advocates at Prisma. We're here to help. Without wasting any more of your time, let's jump into our application so I can show you guys how to use Pulse. All right, so now we're in our application. And what this application is, is just our basic Hello Prisma application. You can follow this tutorial and get kind of set up right where we are currently. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this project and we're going to be turning it into a Pulse enabled project. We also have a package that we need to install here. This is going to be our Prisma extension Pulse. So this is our client extension and you would simply install this the same way you would install anything else. You do NPM I and then you would type out Prisma slash extension Pulse, right? And this would install it right into your application. This allows us to be able to use the Pulse extension inside of our app. Next, you're going to log into cloud projects and you're going to add Pulse to one of your projects. I have a few here. One already has Pulse configured and that's the one we're going to be using for this video, but I want to show you guys how you would configure it yourself. I'm going to click into my Confident Jade Unicorn project here and I'm going to scroll down to the part where it says configure Pulse. Inside of this it has a few requirements that you need to have. Again, if you just follow the documentation, you'll be able to set up your database to make sure Pulse works. And then you would just put in your database connection string. This is the same database connection string you would use inside of your application inside of your .env file that you would use inside of your schema.prisma file for your database URL. So once you've configured your database and made sure your project is set up, it'll take about four minutes for that to set up and then you'll get a confirmation screen that kind of looks like this. Then what you'll do is you'll come in, you'll hit the manage API keys button and then create a new API key. I don't need to do that. I already have one made, but you'll be have to get your API key to be able to use this inside of your application. We have all the setup done. Let's start using Pulse. Inside of our index.ts file, let's go ahead and import in a couple things. One is our Prisma client along with the with Pulse extension that we installed earlier. Next, what we want to do is grab our API key. Again, this is the API key from cloud projects. You can put this into your environment variable and pass it in through TypeScript. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to put it right here in the code. Next, we need to create our Prisma client. What this line allows us to do is create a new Prisma client that extends with Pulse and then we're passing in our API key. And this allows you to be able to create a new Prisma client that has Pulse enabled on it. If we didn't have this extends with Pulse here, it would just be the normal Prisma client and you wouldn't be able to use the Pulse subscribe method. Next, what we want to do is make a main function. Our main function needs to be async. So that way we're able to keep the connection alive and receive events as they happen. Then we want to grab our subscription. So make a variable called const subscription await prisma.user subscribe. What this line does is it grabs the user table and listens for all events on top of it. That's all you have to do. That's it. And now you will be able to get every update, every create, and every delete that happens to your user table inside of this next part of code. We're gonna add two blocks here for one for error checking and then one for a console log event that happens whenever an event comes in. Lastly, let's go ahead and run our function main. Now down in our terminal, we're gonna run npx ts node index.ts. And what this does is it runs this file and creates the connection to our pulse enabled database specifically the user table. And as you can see, we have our connection wide open. It says hello from, this is a debug ID in the future. This probably won't be here. This is a debug ID we use internally to help you guys if you have any bugs or anything like that. And you're saying, okay, Mark, that's cool. But like, what happens now? Well, this is where the magic happens. So we're going to go ahead and create another terminal here and we're going to open up Prisma Studio. We have Prisma Studio open right here. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys the database updating as soon as a record is created. So let's go ahead and add a record and we're going to name this one Bob at Prisma.io. His name is Bob. And then uh, we're going to hit save changes. And as soon as this as soon as it's changed, it's actually faster than the Prisma Studio UI is. We have our create event. So I can see we have our action create. We have the ID of the user. We have the email and the name. All right, that's great. Right now we're grabbing all of our events. Say we want just update events from our user table. Well, we can do that. We can add update and now this will return every single time and the user is updated. And we can test that right now. And then let's go ahead and add a record for the sake of argument. We're going to say Jim at Prisma.io. Jim, save changes. As you can see, it was not updated inside of our terminal, but it was updated inside of our Prisma Studio UI. Now say Jim's name is actually Jimmy. We'll go ahead and save this change. And now we have the update event inside of our terminal where Jim Jim's name was updated to Jimmy. So say we wanted update events from a specific user only. 
let's say a gym we really want to watch whatever gym's doing and we're going to make sure we're going to events only when gym does something what we'll do is we'll add another filter here called after and what this does is returns an event after something has happened where the after data matches what's ever inside of this okay so if we do email is equal to gym at prisma.io now we're going to go into prisma studio and say i update bob and we're going to name him bobby we don't get an event inside of our terminal right because again we're looking for all of the update events on the user table which is great but we only want it when after the update event has happened the emails gym at prisma.io so now let's go back into our studio and then let's name this to Jim Bob save changes and as you can see now we have the event returning because our email field matches all right well I hope that helped you guys learn a little bit about pulse and I hope you guys want to use pulse inside of your applications if you have any really cool ideas please share them with me or leave a comment down below and let us know Pulse will be continuing to grow with your feedback and will continue to add more and more features and other database support. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us and talk about how you're using Pulse in your applications. Until next time, my name is Mark, and from everybody at Prisma, keep making awesome things.